Hello, Gummy 1220 here again. Uh, in this video, we're going to actually uh, go in and place in our backgrounds and uh, layer them and uh, create our fades for those as well. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this in two different ways. How I'm going to start this off is right away, I'm going to, I've already moved down my BGB track so it's not right up against the A. I put it back in order. And uh, what I'm going to start off with is uh, saying that we want to start off with going by the first scene first. You want to go in order. You don't want to start off at the last scene over here and then work your way back. Because let's say you started doing that and you put it placed in a region over here at the um, already and you worked hard getting all those layers in. And then you come back over here and you're fumbling back and forth and then you come back to this one and you place in another region that you imported and it stretches out and it's longer than your, your short, entire short film. And then it's going to just completely erase what you did over here. It's going to not wipe out that, that layer and you're going to be pretty pissed off. Um, so what you want to do is you always want to make sure that you work in order. Or what you could do is what I always do anyways is I create edit tracks. I create one mono and one stereo. Um, so let's go ahead and create our two edit tracks. And here one mono, ramp one stereo, enter, there we go. And I'm going to change the color on these so they don't correspond with any of the color. I'm just going to make them extremely bright green so that way they stand out. Uh, right now, okay, so see, you don't have to worry about two pops getting deleted, your tail pops getting deleted. It's just a track to edit your, your regions on. And right now I'm going to move this the mono down because we're not I'm not going to be using that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our workspace um, window. And you can pop that up by hitting option col and your colon key. Or you can go up to window workspace. And here I'm going to navigate to where my sound library is. I already... Um, auditioned um, my audio and found uh, which which uh, sounds are best and I renamed them already and everything so I already have a special place for them but here's what you would do you'd go to search let's say you haven't uh, you haven't already done what I did to get prepped for this video you're going in and you have a huge sound library and you want to find some good ambient background noises uh, so like an AC unit Boom audition it right here. You just click on the speaker, you can audition it. You could even go further on in the thing, go right there. And mainly when you're auditioning backgrounds, you want to make sure, like let's say it's a scene outdoors, you want to make sure that it's not a looped background uh, recording because let's say there's birds chirping in the background. You're going to hear that same bird chirping over and over again and it's going to become obvious to the viewers of the film. And they, they're going to it's not gonna they're gonna get zoned out they're not gonna be zoned into the movie anymore they're gonna realize that they're watching a movie and that's not what you want you want them to be zoned in you don't you want them to go in fantasy land and um, so but that one sounds good I already auditioned it so I'm gonna click and drag this into my regions bin and here it comes over here AC and you want to name them once they're in the region bin come and double click on them rename them and uh, to something that you're going to remember, and that way you can uh, go to them, and right, you'll be able to find them right away. Um, I already have renamed them, so I don't have to go in and do that. Um, bedroom tone, I'm not even going to audition this, but, and here I'm going to click and drag that into my regions bin as well. And there's opening ambience, I was going to use that. There we go. And... TV. I'm going to use that. All right. Now as we got those in, we can close out of our workspace browser. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and you see that all the regions that you just brought in are highlighted. And then that with the BGA is highlighted because it's selected in our edit window. But there's all your tracks. And right here, what I'm going to do is deselect them. So I'm going to bring in opening ambience bam pop that in and there's let's take a little audition of it that ramps up that sounds pretty good we're gonna come in here I'm gonna grab our selection and this this is one way to do it 
and then you bring your selection down with your command focus keys and uh, I'm going to bring it down with the uh, colon key and then I'm going to trim it to the selection trim my region to the selection and how you do that is command T and that voila there you go and yeah, it's in there um, it's perfectly in sync in spot and it's the exact same length so what we're gonna do is now we need to bring this down to our VGA1 track so how I'm gonna do that is control grab and drag and uh, now we need to create our fades and since this is gonna be a full scene change we have to create it for two frames now we do create our uh, uh, fades. So you can either zoom in, you can come in here oh, with your fade right here, get your fader pulled up, and you can either click and drag them in two frames, or what I like to do is just real quick, Command F, bam. You can even uh, you can create your curves, your S standard curve, your S curve. Um, come in here, select those differently. You want to do equal gain. Uh, you can do equal power as well, but I just do equal gain. And um, right here in your length, 33 seconds is approximately one frame long. It's not exactly one frame long, but it's pretty darn close. So we're going to do 33, uh, 33 milliseconds is one frame, but we need to create this uh, uh, these for two frames. So we're going to do 66 milliseconds. And we're going to hit OK. Bam, it automatically creates our, our, our uh, fades. And as we come in here, you'll see there they are, two fades long, approximately. And how, how I get, you can also come in here and judge uh, how long a frame is by clicking right here on this region for your two pop. It's one frame long. And you see it's one frame long here. Let's change two minutes and seconds. And you see the 33 milliseconds right here. So, uh, it's not completely accurate, but it's pretty darn close. And if you want to come in here, zoom in, and stretch that out, you could trim it back, trim it out a bit. And oops, hit it undo. There we go. And right, just come in with your trimmer uh, tool and bring it out. And now let's take a look at that. And take it, open it up. Yeah, it doesn't even go with it, but eh, just for demonstration purposes, we'll keep it. And close out of our window again. And I'm not even going to layer this one. It's just uh, so simple. It's just an opening uh, deal, opening credit deal. So I'm going to come here now to our BGB2. And let's take a look at this scene. Just real quick. All right, it's just dealing with in a bedroom. All right, and this fly, we're not gonna, it's not a background, I'm not gonna make any sound effects to the fly. And close out of this. And let's see, for this one, we're gonna bring in our, and drag this, to our edit, stereo edit down. I'm gonna bring in our bedroom tone. Okay, and for this one, I'm going to drag it out a bit, get a little bit more in the middle of it. And I'm going here to now bring our selection down to do our trim to selection again. And right here, I'm going to hit Command T to trim our, um, our region to selection. And bam. Now we need to create, or I'm going to bring this down by selecting it, control clicking and dragging it down to the next track and there we go. Now I'm going to move this mono edit out of the way and now since okay we got that room tone in create our fades 66 okay there we go and now we're going to come up here I'm going to add in AC with that room tone the AC was probably going but it's a movie you want to exaggerate things a bit so, um, and you want to have a little bit more control. So I'm going to drag this again into the edit window. And oh, as we can notice, it's not 
the length that we need it at. This is where method number two comes in of how I um, bring in my regions and uh, get them to um, to fit my background length. Um, let's say I didn't record a long enough um, clip for the AC and I it even cuts off right here at the end. So for this reason, because I'm going to paste, uh, copy and paste to selection and what that is, is it repeats, it loop automatically loops it within the selection. And so uh, right here we have some silence. We don't want that dead silence because then that's going to create a silence in the loop and we're going to hear that and it's going to cut out for a little bit and it's going to sound horrible. So I'm going to come right here. I'm going to hit B, put right there so where, where my, um, where my uh, icon is and I'm going to hit B to separate that select this back end and hit delete to cut that out. Now what I'm going to do is come here, I'm going to select that re our AC region, I'm going to hit command C to copy it, select our, um, our ghost got, um, region, bring that selection down by your command focus keys, colon key down to BGB2, and I'm going to hit Command Option V, and that paste repeats um, your selection. And as you can see right here, there is a uh, that's where it starts to repeat, it starts to loop back, and it automatically create it pops up your fade um, your fade window to create your fade. And we're going to shorten this fade. We don't even have to do it in the frames um, guidelines, but we're going to just going to make it one frame. So there we go. Create our fade. And I'm going to skip that. Now let's play that little selection just to see how that transition sounds like. So, not too bad. So we'll leave that there. And what we need to do now is since this fade is only one, we need to bring that out to two. So just with the trimmer tool, grab, or grab that. Um, that fade and drag it out a bit more one frame longer there we go so now we have two layers right there they're not la they're not mixed yet and this one over here this first the bedroom tone we need to come up here that's two frames long but we're this is just going to be a perspective change so we're going to drag that out to just one frame and that's one frame long now so it corresponds with our perspective change and scene change guidelines and let's say, okay, we're going to delete this AC. We don't need it anymore. It's down here. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to bring in that TV track that I, I dragged into the bin. And here, bring this region in. And I've already got a pretty good guideline of where I want it to be. All right, there's... We're going to have a little TV in the background. Let's say there was no TV in the production sound and TV audio, but the director, he um, put in the, in the notes that he wants a TV to be going on in the background. You can't see it. It's more of an ambient noise, but we're going to place it in the background and mix it in with our, to create our room tone. And uh, how we're going to do this is we're going to do our trim to selection again. And I'm going to select our region. Come here. Uh, with our command focus key down and I'm going to get command T trim to selection bam there we go and now I'm going to hit control click and drag that down into our BGB3 there we go now we've got our selection now command F to create your fades we're just going to do 66 milliseconds bam there we go come over to the last one trim that up that last fade to one frame and there we go we have a la our layer it's not mixed yet but we'll come over to our mix screen and we don't want that TV one to be too loud so we're gonna bring that down and this will be automated you'll automate all this later so let's just go ahead and keep it at zero and because um, everything is gonna be automated because let's say that your clip was longer than my clip and you have another background here 
And if you can't just keep it, your levels stagnant where they are, you have to, you're going to have to automate them in because they're not going to be the same for every scene. These sounds over here for this scene over here might maybe completely different scene. It may be outdoors and not indoors. So it's going to be completely different and you're going to need completely different mixes for each little scene. So that's where automation comes big time in play. Up here, I do our backgrounds for our last perspective change. So now let's go in, bring our edit up back up to the A by the A. And we're going to drag in the same exact regions. But what we're going to do is the mix will be different. Or let's say you're in the scene, this the scene is these two scenes right here, this one and this one are within a restaurant. And let's say this one, it deals with showing somebody sitting down at a table and talking to the other person on the other side of the table. And let's say here in BGBB, Bob is talking to Sally in A, but it's fo the camera is focused on Bob. And Bob is in there, and he's talking to Sally, and he, the camera has a picture of him in the booth up against the window. So you're going to hear some different sounds, maybe some car backgrounds and stuff like that it, through the glass. And then it switches to A over here to where it's focused on Sally, and in the, her background, you see the kitchen and the kitchen doors opening and closing. So you're gonna hear like the, the cooks may possibly in the background, more of the restaurant noises, and that's where the difference in perspective scene changes come in for the backgrounds. All right, so now let's get started on this one. We're gonna drag in our AC, there we go. And this one, we're just gonna trim to selection. Click and drag that down. I'm going to have it correspond going in the same order as our last scene. So I'm going to bring it to the second track. And to get our bedroom room tone, click and drag this out. There we go. Bring command focus key down and control command T to trim that. And control click and drag down. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this, paste it in, there we go, because we already had our selection of where the TV was, and command or T to trim, and then control, click and drag down. Alright, now we need to create our fades, command F, 33 milliseconds, enter, there we go. Command F, 33 milliseconds. Command F, 33 milliseconds. There we go, now we have our fades. And these fades, let's say those transitions don't sound right again, go in and play with the fades and uh, make it sound to where it sounds natural. But for the most part, those are pretty good guidelines. So one frame of perspective changes and two frames for scene changes. Um, please subscribe, uh, leave comments. And I'll see you next video.